Hey everybody, I wanted to show you this tool. It's called Goblin Tools. And right on their about page, it says it's a collection of small, simple, single task tools, mostly designed to help neurodivergent people with tasks they find overwhelming or difficult. I feel like this is gonna be a tool that can be incredibly helpful for lots of teachers and students. So the first uh, tab is the magic to do, and you see the little tagline is breaking things down so you don't. So what I'm gonna do is just paste in um, a, a quick topic. So I wrote, write a research paper on the main causes of the American Revolution. Now that would be a very overwhelming assignment to get for anyone. But what I can do is break this down into smaller, more manageable steps and even get estimates of how long each step will take. So first thing I wanna point out is that you can have the student or you can record the task into the little box here using the microphone. And then over here that where it says, how much, if you click on this, how much breaking down do you need? So it would be one would be not much and then five would be a lot. I'm gonna keep it on three for right now, just for the demo. Now I'm gonna click the plus sign. So it now puts it down here on the list. So this is a task that I need to do, but I want to break this task down. So I'm gonna click on the little button that says break down item. And in just a minute or two, it's gonna show me a big list. Okay, so this is a full list of the steps that a student would need to take or a suggestion of steps that a student would take to write a research paper. Now, some of them are incredibly generic and they're all very broad. So as a teacher, you could go in and you have a couple of choices. You can edit the list or you can remove certain ones from the list. You can also get an estimate of how long something like this would take. So if I just click on estimate, it's going to generate um, an, a, a quick um, little text box of how long this item would take. So once I've gone through and I've identified which items either can go or edited the ones that are unnecessary, I can break them down even further. So identify the main causes of the American Revolution. Now that is something that I feel like would need to be broken down even more. So I'm gonna click break down item again next to that one, and it's gonna break down that step even further. So conduct research, gather sources. Now, maybe a student doesn't know how to gather relevant sources. So I'm gonna break down that step even further. So this can go, you know, pretty detailed into every um, aspect of these different steps. So maybe you have students who could take the initial outline and get started, but then you might have students who would really need these broken down multiple um, times and really gotten down to specific, um, you know, items that would give them concrete directions on how to proceed. So very interesting tool here. I'm, I, I love the concept and I think it, it could be incredibly helpful. So when a when an item on the list is completed, you just, you could put the checkbox, you could ask the student to do that. And then you go down to the very bottom. Let me just close my little window. And then I'm going to click on the little hammer and I can clear the whole list or clear the completed tasks. Um, clear the estimates, or if I wanted to estimate all of the tasks, I could do that. So that's kind of a nice way to get that done all in one shot. So I can clear the entire list and then I can go and do another one. So actually I'm gonna just pop that in there one more time so I can show you at the bottom, you can export this. So if you have the list and it's written out or it's broken down, you've edited it and it's ready to go off to a student to begin their um, research, you can export the list and they can put it in a Google Drive or you can, um, I think you can upload um, your own tasks or your own uh, items into this. I haven't done that one yet, but you can also save it. And then you can also, it says cloud sync. So that's if you want to put it in like a, a Dropbox or something. So that's the magic to do. The next one is a formalizer. So this one, turn the spicy thoughts into classy ones or vice versa. So you could type in text here or something you want to say or an email or maybe some piece of writing. And then you can ask the AI to help make this less emotional, more passionate, more formal, more informal. So that's pretty straightforward. Just copy paste and the converted text will appear down here. This one's interesting, the judge. So this is for people who um, maybe struggle or are afraid that they're going to misread the tone, either of something they've written or that somebody has sent to them. So you just paste the text in here. 
and then you can click judge. The other thing is if you click on the box, you can um, you can put in the text that you've written, maybe someone's reply here, and then ask the judge to come across, uh, tell you how this, this exchange comes across, the tone of this exchange. The next one is the estimator. And this is, again, it's something that's also in the magic um, to-do list that I just showed you. But if this is just like a one-off, you could have a student type in something that they need to get done and then give them an estimate of how long it will take. And then finally, the compiler. This is where you can take either notes that you've written or maybe that you've typed up or ideas that you've had on things that you need to get done. And you can turn your list or your text into a list of tasks. And that list will look just like the magic to-do list. So this is a really exciting tool. I hope that you find it useful in your classrooms this year.